I work for a project on the, the mitigation of climate change in agriculture program and our project is doing is also using ICT technologies. We call it the component of the communities of practice. So what we do is that we gather a lot of um, hundreds or thousands of, of uh, experts and practitioners from the field from over 105 countries to these online communities of practice and we organize with them and for them uh, online learning events um, which contain webinars uh, through webinar pl uh, platform and then also this uh, email based discussions as well as some social media exchange especially on LinkedIn forum. We have about 4500 members from, from these countries uh, in our different uh, communities of practice. We have two main communities, actually three. <laughs> one is on climate smart agriculture, second one is on uh, climate change mitigation in agriculture, concentrating on this specific topic. And then the third one, a smaller one, is about peatlands and climate change mitigation. We chose to, from the beginning to work with communities of practice as one main component of the MICA program. It was because we wanted to connect the different practitioners who we knew, knew that are working on this field from in different parts of the world, but are many times very busy and cannot meet physically and share the results. It was, especially back in 2010, it was really a um, field in development and there were major gaps in the knowledge and uh, need to work on this. So we wanted to bring somehow virtually people together on this um, first of all for the email based platforms and then develop the capacities and share our knowledge and also hear from the members what they know and what they would expect for to, to work with them or work on um, as, a, as a topic. There was a real need to use some efficient tools, easy to use tools uh, tools that don't require um, high bandwidth, uh, for example. So uh, we, what, what we chose to use is to, the, the, as a heart of the communities, we use the dgroup platform, which is email-based, email-based platform. So you basically get either every single email that somebody sends to the list to your email box, or you can have a digest of emails. Then we are using social media because we thought we have. We want to use something which is where people already are as well and where the professionals meet. So we choose this uh, LinkedIn or um, if you want to, you don't want to use the trademark, then we, we use this um, online platform for profe profe professionals to network and uh, also find job op opportunities. And the third ICT technology that we use mainly is the, is the webinar platforms. We use their Adobe Connect uh, webinar with a lot of interactive uh, tools or kind of opportunities for members to interact. Um, we wanted to gather people also to the same place, let's say online place, in a synchronized manner so we can uh, get their feedback and get them hearing the key presenters and experts that we've, we've been able to engage to share their expertise and also get the interaction directly from the field level to the expert and actually many experts find this very enriching that they can hear okay what are the challenges in the field and be able directly to answer to them.